In recent years, the issue of cleanliness and safety of the air we breathe has become more acute than ever. Developers who previously thought only about filtering pollution and allergens are now adding virus protection to their devices, as COVID-19 remains an urgent threat. Therefore, it is not surprising that the world-famous manufacturer of innovative vacuum cleaners has introduced the Dyson Zone. These are headphones that dampen the noise and purify the air. And this is not the first new product that the company has introduced in recent years. Previously, fans and hair dryers appeared on the market and quickly became hits. Will headphones replicate their fate? What definitely should not be doubted is the efficiency of air purification. Considering Dyson's expertise in contaminant filtration, it will definitely be top-notch. Moreover, the company claims that it spent six years on development, during which about 500 prototypes were created. The first ones generally looked like headphones and a mouthpiece complete with a backpack in which the air is purified. But in the end, one cleaning unit was divided into two compressors and two filters, one in each ear. And the air tube has evolved into a non-contact visor that allows clean air to enter the mouth and nose without making contact with the face. So how does it work? Compressors in each headphone suck air through dual-layer filters and direct two streams of purified air towards the wearer's nose and mouth, through the wireless visor. The special shape of the visor ensures that the purified airflow is kept close to the nose and mouth and is diluted minimally by outside air. The visor can be pulled back when you decide to talk or drink water. Dyson also promises that the headphones deliver rich, immersive sound and suppress unwanted urban noise with advanced active noise cancellation, low distortion, and natural frequency response. Those experts who have already managed to test them noted that the sound is of very high quality and the design is comfortable as well as lightweight. Except testers weren't allowed to wear the headphones outdoors, so questions remain about how effectively they immersive sound. And most importantly, would you feel confident in it? Therefore, experts still doubt the readiness of the market and users to accept such a product. The Verge called them quirky and emphasized that this is not an April Fool's joke because the presentation took place on March 30th. The Stuff.TV edition about gadgets called it the wildest gadget we've ever tested. And the CNET technical website said they look like something out of a dystopian sci-fi movie. Nevertheless, we would not write off this unusual gadget in advance. Previous products have already become bestsellers in their segments, demonstrating record sales. Therefore, the Dyson Zone headphones may well achieve the same success. The start of sales is scheduled for the end of 2022. We will find out then.